Hi, Richard Knudsen here again, and in this special video edition of the Dynamics CRM Trick Bag, I'm going to talk about activities and activity parties. Now, I know that probably sounds geeky, but I think it's actually a fairly important topic, and one that um, is probably relatively poorly understood in my experience. To illustrate, use an example near and dear to my heart. I want to be able to track attendance at uh, my favorite user group, the Dynamics CRM user group. And in our company, we model that. We use the service activity entity. So I'll use the service activity entity to illustrate. And if I illustrate just by simply going into advanced find, I've got an advanced find window open here. And the service activity is in the look for. I can choose subject and in a pretty straightforward way. I can filter on subject contains some text. In this case, we use DC RMUG, our delightful acronym that rolls trippingly off the tongue, um, to uh, filter the list. And I can see that I've got my first two meetings here. So there's our 1218, there's our 127 coming up meeting. Hope to see you there, by the way. And if I open this record up, we're looking at the service activity form here. And one interesting thing about this service activity is that you see this customer's lookup field, which gives you the ability to select the account or contact entities. And importantly, you can see here, I can select multiple values. So I can effectively use this. This implements a many to many relationship between, in this case, service activities and these customer records. And it's useful to contrast this with this regarding field, which many people are familiar with. You might think of this as kind of the traditional way of associating an activity with one of these other records, say account, contact, or some other ones as well. But you can tell from looking at this that this is a single value. I can only select one customer to associate with a record. So that regarding field isn't going to give us the ability to track attendance. So if I want to keep track of all of the attendance at these meetings, how might I do that? Well, using advanced find, let's switch the look for to contacts. And let's observe that I can filter I've got contacts in my advanced find. I can use this activity parties. I can drill through this. And effectively, what this does is this surfaces the many to many relationship between contacts and, in this case, service activities. So I can go down in this select and I can choose activity, service activity. And now I can filter like we did before on subject. I'll filter on the same one we did before, DCRMUG. And this accomplishes part of what we want because this gives me a list with no duplicates of all of the contacts who have ever attended one of these user group meetings. Now that's part of the way there, but what it doesn't let us do is what? It doesn't let me select anything if you go into this edit columns and try to select information about the actual service activity. Choose add columns here. Here are my columns from the contact entity. And you notice if you look in this list, there's nothing here that gives you a handle to the service activity entity itself. So the problem with advanced find, it's got a limitation in that I can't include anything even though I can query by service activities in this case. I can't include columns from the service activity entity. So I can't really generate a report here. I could generate maybe a marketing list if I wanted to do that. We'll talk about that in another session. But what I want is a report. An activity advanced find isn't going to give that to us. But what I can do is go to reports and let's use the new report writer and see how far we can get with this. Let's use the report wizard. I'll create a new report, and I'll call this DCRM UG Meetings and Attendance. And the key to it is that I want to choose Service Activities as my primary record, and the related record type is going to be this Activity Party. So this is really what this is used for. 
So I'll choose Activity Parties as my related record type. And I'm going to go through here. The next thing I'll do is put a filter. And we'll use the same filter that we've seen a couple of times since we're filtering on service activities. I can filter on the same criteria that we did before. Now I'm going to use groupings. And the key to, to this is since I want to see attendance by meeting, I'll click on this first click here to add a grouping field. And I'm going to choose the subject. It'll suggest that for me. And let's make this, uh, say, 300 pixels wide. And let's include summary type of count here so I can, at a glance, get a count ultimately of how many attendees each meeting had. Then I'll go down into the body of the report. And this time, I don't want to select a record type from service activities. I want to drill through here. Here's my related to activity parties. And I want to select columns from the contact entity. So I'm going to go through the party entity, select contact. And let's use full name. I'll make it 200 pixels wide. And if I wanted to, I could add other columns from the contact entity in the same technique here say email or phone number or things like that but let's just keep this one simple for now click next and uh, this isn't really suitable for a chart so I'll just use a table and let's go ahead and click next now I'll finish out this report and I can just run it and see what this looks like and you'll see that with this thing this thing comes up in the report viewer What I'll have here is a pretty simple but effective report that gives us by meeting, a count, and then lists all the attendees. And this is the sort of thing that um, if you don't know how to use that relationship between the activity and, in this case, contacts, using that junction entity of activity party, this might be a relatively difficult thing to do, but if you know that technique, this is pretty simple. So I can use this and get a nice, easy report of that. So I'll go ahead and save and close that. Now it's a report, so a bring services report that is available. You can see I've got a couple versions of that, and it uh, has all the characteristics of a reporting services report in Dynamic CRM. I can schedule it, distribute it, and that sort of thing. As a uh, kind of a general point here, I'll just point out in conclusion that the activity types that have this capability of this many-to-many -many relationship with uh, certain records using that activity party, those include phone call, email, letter, appointment, and then service activity is the one that I use to illustrate. So again, Richard Knutson here, and I uh, hope you found this helpful.